Today, I have just purchased this car, which cost 3.6 million, I think it was. Let's actually, go by, yeah, 3.660. That was not the amount of money I was expecting to buy the first car. The new heist update is here, and this is, have, this is absolute hell. Everybody spawned right near the casino. Of course, to try and encourage people to do the... Oh, my God. To encourage people to do the next missions. Well, clearly, it's just gone to hell. I am getting out of here before I do anything of the sorts of spawning a bloody vehicle. This is one of the first types of this vehicle that I have purchased, but look at this machine. It is ridiculous. It's kind of got the, the same style as the center where you can see through the bottom of the doors. And I'm trying to be very quick here so that I don't get it blown up, but it looks fantastic. I really, really love the look of this thing. There are more cars to come, but this is pretty much what you get from the get-go of jumping in to the update. Oh, there's a new radio station. Is the new radio station on yet? Where is it? I think it's that one. All right, we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a listen to that a little later. But YouTube copyright. Let's get this popping. Let's get this going. Let's start trying to see can this be customized. We can at least change the color of it. Hopefully, we can put a big old stupid stanky wang on the top of it because that will make my bloody day. Interior, very classic supercar. Very, very cool indeed. I like this a lot. I like that you can actually see they stole it from the center. At least that's probably their latest inspiration to see that. I like this a lot. So this car, in fact, is a submarine vehicle. And so it's going to be dual purpose. I think I'm definitely going to make use of it during the new heist missions. But of course, we've got... I have, I have no idea about the heist. That we, I can't say that we're going to make use of it until I properly try it. But to drive... Pretty good, of course. And of course, we will drive it underwater momentarily, but do you mind? It's been way too long since I've played GTA. I'm not used to the to the open world handling that's actually got some depth to it. I say a little little bit of depth to it. Right, let's jump into West Coast Customs. I said Santos Customs. And thankfully, it actually opened up and is going to let us begin the process of customization. It looks like a few cars, honestly. It just looks like an old classic supercar i love that look okay we have options <laughs> thank god oh so i'm so happy to see that okay we've got armor upgrades we're gonna make use of that i don't ever do that but it just makes sense for this type of vehicle i'm gonna be using it for work now we have front bumper customization let's jump through and see what front bumpers we have we have painted which instantly looks so much better i'm definitely leaning towards that and that's it it's pretty Simple, pretty basic. I think I'm actually going to go with this look because it goes for like a nice clean overall look. We go for the rear bumper. Hopefully, we can get a painted rear bumper on this too. And hopefully, we can get some little mad bits as well. I was hoping for some more bits hanging off and making people very confused. We do have a bunch of liveries, but you know me. We got to do the paint before we touch the livery. We got window wang options. Holy poo poo. That's beautiful. I mean, it has it as a standard. If you're a weirdo, you could probably remove them. Or you could... Yeah. I, I, well, I don't know why I would want to remove them, to be honest. I think the best option is already on the car as a standard. That's That never happens in the land of Rockstar. So let's put a Panther plate on there. Respray. This is going to be difficult. I'm not too sure. It's got two two-tone color in case you wanted to do that. I'm not too sure what color to go with. Something bright, something cheerful. It's got to be <clears throat> bright orange or yellow. For the for the primary color and the secondary color do we want to go with the same color let's have, we should probably have a look here it is very cool indeed but of course i do want to see what it's going to look like with just a nice black accent on the side all right we're gonna we're going for bright orange all round we've got trim color just in case you want to change the interior of it we're going for a fruit salad oh <laughs> oh my god that looks horrendous Oh, what have I done? It changes the whole... I was expecting it just to change the dash a little bit. So we could put a sunstrip on it. I mean, it will be useful when we're under the water. Hello, how are you? I am under the water. Ooh, we have a wing option. Big old wangs. Hopefully, here we come. We've got some lips. We've got some nice sight. These are a decent sight. I will be honest. A big one might look silly on this, but it would be nice. Ah, okay. Right, great. That's what we get. That's what we get, what we're given. Uh, I'm going to go for something like this. I think that just, just, just a little bit of spice. Do the transmission, do the turbo. We could also smoke out the windows just to hide our red interior, but I'm, I'm going to fix it. Oh yeah, I'm liking that. Okay, let's jump back and fix <laughs> my red interior. You know what? 
<laughs> I, I I might put it slightly lighter, but that the white or uh, gray in this case is probably going to be the the better option. Yeah, I dig that. I dig that a lot. Okay, now it's time for the livery because I'm going to miss it if I if I don't. Uh, we've got a red stripe along the bottom. We've got white stripes. We've got black stripes. Kind of just a black design overall. Call another black design. We could make it look pretty sweet. We could make it look like a race car, of course. And we have this jank thing and a camo livery, just in case. I am a stripe man. I'm just going to do that. Should I go for white stripes? Because that kind of looks kind of sick. But I like the extra details of the black one. We're going for the black. What? It didn't do the cool driver. Okay. I guess it's because this crazy fella's here. I'm on passive mode because I don't want to die. Holy crap! Oh. I was just trying to beep. I don't know why I was trying to beep, but I didn't realize that this thing had a boost. Holy poo! How many boosts do I get? Do I, do, how long did it take to recharge? Oh, I see it's in the bottom corner. It doesn't take long at all. Holy crap! I did not expect that whatsoever. <laughs> I've been spending a bunch of time just trying to repair this bloody thing. <laughs> it's just, a, it's a little bit ridiculous to say the very least, but boom, big old boost. Do it again. It's actually quite controllable. I'd say the boost is a lot more controllable than that of the boost that was available on GTA 4. GTA 4's boost on the Balladigator made that. That was not good. That was that was all over the place. Floppy, flippy, floppy, flop, flop. Yes. Okay, let's now drive to the water. I have no idea how you convert this thing. I'm going to find out, I guess. I. Ah! Well, it's a good job I did find out, isn't it? <laughs> that's sick. I didn't know. This is the first vehicle I've purchased that's like this. I, I didn't know I could just, on the road, switch to a submarine. <laughs> let's allow the magic to commence. I've not done any, I've not had any of the, I think I had the first oppressor, the version that kind of dodoed back to the ground. This, nah, this, the, anything like this, just, I've only used it in the heists and stuff. Switch, let's go. I'm a submarine man, but cheese. holy poo poo. This is weird. Okay, how do I like go down? Oh, I don't know how to control this thing properly. Okay, so I pull up. And I pushed down. It just wasn't taking my controls before. And I can still boost under the water. Hello? How are you? <laughs> this is a weird experience to me. This is very weird. But I'm about to buy the 10 million submarine. I say 10 million. I'm not going to fully mod it out. But I'm going to do some modifications. You know me, modification man, my cheese. But let's uh, at least have a go of driving around in under the water. I mean, it's about as I expected. It's a, it's a car... In the water, I the, the animation that it does to, to convert, though, is pretty damn sick. And, of course, the fact that we get to customize this thing, I am very, very grateful for. But, of course, there are other cars coming to the game. I'm going to be covering them. So, be sure to hit that subscribe button, smash like, subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you in the next one. What happens if I change in the water? Does it just... Can I actually sit underwater? That's pretty sick. I didn't know I could do that. Am I drowning? See, most cars by now would have just shut off and stopped working. But this thing's, this thing's actually... It's, it's, it's trying underwater. That's awesome. I like that a lot. All right. Until next time, smash like, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you soon. Peace.